Hi everybody, Mark here from Illawarra Education Foundation. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at equivalent fractions, but before we start, please make sure you go to our website. Please download the student tutorial worksheet that goes with this video, and then we'll be able to make a start. Thanks for watching. So before we start the tutorial, I want to encourage homeschool parents, teachers, and anyone else who's interested, today's lesson is straight from the New South Wales version of the Australian curriculum, pages 208, 209, under fractions and decimals two, under the substrand number and algebra, we're actually looking at comparing uh, equivalent fractions. And part of that is also understanding how to construct our own. So please, if you are not familiar with our syllabus document, it is our primary source of information, please go to the New South Wales Board of Studies website and you can actually download it for free in the PDF version. It is a really great document. It helps us to understand what we're doing. Uh, so let's get started. So everyone, before we start today's tutorial, I'd like to remind you, if you are not that familiar with fractions, I encourage you to go and look at my earlier video that I have simply called Fractions. Um, I'd also like you to make sure you've downloaded the uh, student tutorial sheets. It's actually two pages today. Here they are here. Make sure you've downloaded those from our website. And also please have a pink and a yellow highlighter and a pen uh, or a pencil. I'm using, uh, I encourage you a pencil. I'm using a pen so that you can see what I'm doing today. So you've got those with you. Um, and also a little bit of background information. We need to understand what a whole is. Um, in maths, whole refers to one, okay? The second thing we need to understand in fractions is, which I've written on the board here, is numerator and denominator. Numerator is the number at the top of the line of the fraction. Denominator is the number beneath the line. Or as I like to encourage people to think, Denominator down, the D for denominator is D for down, it's the bottom number. And you might think, well, what do they mean? What, what's the whole point of the numerator and the denominator? Well, what's the point? Another way to think about it is the numerator is how many I have, or the numbers that I'm talking about, and the denominator are the equal parts to make the whole. So let me explain that now. I've actually got some uh, chocolate that I've divided up equally. We're actually going to talk about that briefly before we get started into today's lesson. So let's just first of all look at what we call these fractions. When we have a whole, it is just simply whole. When it's into two equal parts, we call it a half. When we have four equal parts, we call it quarter, and when we have eight equal parts, we call it eighths. Now, how do we write that? When we have a whole, we write it as there's one part. Remember, the denominator is how many parts the whole is divided into. It's divided into one equal part. How many do I have? I have one. So, numerator 1, denominator 1, 1 over 1 is a whole. Now, if you look at an earlier uh, fraction video that I uh, did, uh, you'll notice um, I actually talk a lot about whole numbers and different ways that we can represent them in fractions. So, please go back and have a look at that if you're not sure about what I'm talking about. The next level, when I've divided that whole into two equal parts, denominator is now 2 equal parts. And if I had one, I would have one half. I have one of the two. The next one, because there are four equal parts, the denominator is four. And of course, if I have one, I have one of the four, I have one quarter. And the next layer, the whole is divided into eight equal parts. Of course, if I have one, I have one eight. So now we have an understanding of how to write fractions. We have an understanding of what to call the fractions. Now let's look at ways that we can actually write the same fraction in different ways. So here you'll see 
on your worksheet that we have this information. What I'd like you to do now is we're actually going to focus on half. What I'd like you to do is to highlight in yellow, because the arrow is yellow, I'd like you to highlight in yellow one half. Please do that with me now. And here we have half. Pop it over here. Now we're looking at equivalent fractions, in other words, the same. So when we look at our half, if I combine two quarters, it is the same, it is equivalent to a half. So what I'd like you to do now is to go and highlight two of our quarters. Okay, so one half is the same as two quarters. I wonder how many eighths a half and two quarters is equivalent to. Well, let's have a look. The great thing about this illustration is you can actually see really clearly by looking down the column. You might even see now what you think, how many eighths one half or two quarters is equivalent to. If you're thinking it's equivalent to four eighths, you're absolutely right. But let's test that theory first. And look at that. Half is equivalent to two quarters, which is equivalent to four eighths. Please color in, highlight four eighths now. So now that we know this, we need to understand how to write it. So to write half is our clue. Half is I have one of the two equal parts. Half is equivalent to two of our quarters, two of the four equal parts, which in eighths is equivalent to four of our eight equal parts. Would you please now go and write this here in this arrow. So we understand that. Now let's look at a different fraction. Let's look at one quarter. What do you think one quarter might be equivalent to in eighths? Let's start by highlighting with our pink highlighter one quarter in our next group. There's our one quarter. Now let's have a look down just like we did earlier how many eighths do you think one quarter is equivalent to? If you are thinking two eighths, you are absolutely right. But let's just check it first against our concrete material. And you can see there, spot on. Please highlight two eighths now on your sheet. So now let's write that up. One quarter, one part of the four equal parts is equivalent to the two of the eight equal parts. Now let's write that information 
in our pink arrow. So let's now try a different example. This time, we're actually going to be using a group of 12 mega M&Ms as our hole. So here we have our hole. There is one whole group and it hasn't been divided. Now you might say, but Mark, hang on, there's 12 M&Ms there. That's true, but I'm classing that group of 12 as a whole. And that means when I have 12, it is a whole. This time I've broken the group of 12 into three equal groups. And we call that a third. The next row down, I've divided the whole into six equal groups. And of course we call that sixth. And the final one, the final row, is I've divided the whole into 12 equal groups. And we call that twelfths. So now let's look at some equivalent fractions regarding this group of 12 make, making a whole. So what I'd like you to do now with your um, yellow highlighter is would you please highlight two thirds. So let's grab that two thirds and we'll find out what it's equivalent to. There's one third. And there's two thirds of my whole. I'd like you to look down and see how many sixths two-thirds will be equal to. Can you see? Highlight it, then we'll talk about it. Can you see? Four sixths is equivalent to two thirds. And now let's move to the next level down to twelfths. Would you please highlight, coming straight down, the equivalent number of twelfths to four sixths and two thirds? Did you get eight twelfths? And you can see here, two thirds is eight of the twelve M&Ms, four sixths and eight twelfths, they're all equivalent fractions. Now let's have a look at how to do this without concrete material. So now we're on the second half of the second page of the student tutorial sheet. You have a look at our first example, it's in the blue box. It says that three quarters is equivalent to six eighths. Now you might notice that what I've also put there is a sense of my working out. And it's really important that we do that all the time. What I've done is that when we're actually working out equivalent fractions, you can actually multiply and divide. Now, so long as you do it to both the numerator and the denominator, you will have no problem with finding equivalent fractions. So what I've done is I've actually doubled the numbers, or times by two. Three times two is six, four times two is eight. Therefore, an equivalent fraction of three quarters is six eighths. 
It's that simple. Now you could change it to times by three, times by four, times by 10. It doesn't matter. So long as you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, the fraction is guaranteed to be equivalent. Let's look at our first exercise together. I've actually got here 16 twentieths. This time we're going to divide by four. 16 divided by four. Please write four in that numerator box there. And of course, 20 divided by four, write the answer in the denominator space. So there we have our equivalent fraction. 16 twentieths is equivalent to 4 fifths. Let's take, have a look at the next one. 11 33s. So what I've actually done this time is we've divided by 11. So 11 divided by 11, 1. 33 divided by 11 is 3. So if we're looking for an equivalent fraction of 11 over 33, the equivalent fraction is one third. And of course, there's actually an unlimited amount of equivalent fractions. Now the final one, I've actually left that up to you. What I would like you to do is either multiply or divide that number, okay? But of course, it has to come out as a whole number. It can't come out as a decimal. So in this case, choose a factor of eight, if you like. Um, you might want to times by two, you might want to divide by four. It's up to you. Please do that now. I'm going to do one and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. So how did you go? I actually just doubled my numerator and denominator. So my equivalent fraction of eight over 32 is 16 over 64. So thank you so much for watching everybody today. Please go to our website. There's tons of resources for you to access. Please also uh, share this video. Please like it and please subscribe because of course, when you subscribe, when you like, when you share, it means that um, I can do more and more videos. Please comment. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. And until next time, thank you very much.